In the picturesque hills of Manipur, Manipur is divided by hills and valley by Mede radical group Arambai Tengal. Manipur a region rich in diverse cultures and communities, the tale of Arambai Tengal unfolded, weaving a story of resilience, identity, and the intricate dance between tradition and change. Arambai Tengal's origins traced back to a small village nestled amidst the lush greenery. Legend has it that a group of skilled warriors, bound by a shared history and a commitment to preserving their unique identity, came together to form what would later be known as the Arambai Tengal. Drawn from various Mete tribes, they sought unity among Mete communities in the face of Kuki minority community in Manipur. As the group emerged, so did their distinctive practices and rituals. They honed their combat skills, blending traditional martial arts with strategic warfare. The Arambai Tengal became known for their harmful activities like burning 200 Kuki villages, looting of state government arms and ammunition, agility, and unwavering commitment to their cultural roots. Over time, the Arambai Tengal faced a significant challenge from the Kuki community, another prominent group in the region. Tensions rose as both communities grappled with questions of territorial rights and cultural dominance. The struggle wasn't merely physical, it was a clash of ideologies and historical narratives. The ethnic violence was started because of the following reasons. 1. Formation of Federation of Haomi, FOH, having ideology to remove indigenous Kuki from the region as non-indigenous community. 2. Complete support from the state Manipur government to radical groups like Arambai Tengal Group, Meite terrorist organization. 3. Funded by Indian government, taking in of government fund for development to the state and use the money against Kuki minority to suppress the Kuki people. How to stop Arambai terrorism against minority Kumi community 1. Indian government must stop funding the Manipur state government, as the money for development of the state is directly reached to them. Terrorist Arambai group, who are the arsonist of over 300 Kuki villages. And the viral naked video, the rapists Arambai terrorist group. 2. Stop the mainland supplies of foods to Manipur, cut off all the highway. 3. India government must stop the support of Biran's government, a collapsed government, as secretly ruled by militants group and other Meite terrorist organizations. The confrontation led to a series of engagements, both on the battlefield and in diplomatic circles. As the dust settled, a realization dawned on both sides, the need for dialogue and understanding. The Arambai Tengal and the Kuki community began to engage in harmful warfare. This period marked a turning point. The Arambai Tengal, focusing solely on conflict, redirected their energy toward only one particular cultural preservation and community development. They engaged in projects that celebrated the rich tapestry of Manipuri traditions, fostering Manipuri unity and destroying other various ethnic groups. In the intricate tapestry of Manipur's history, the emergence of Mayday militants and their engagement in ambushes is a complex and contentious chapter. The story unfolds against a backdrop of political, social, and cultural dynamics, revealing the motivations, grievances, and consequences that shaped these events. 1. Historical context The roots of Mayday militancy can be traced back to the mid 20th century when Manipur became a part of the Indian Union. The imposition of external governance led to a palpable sense of discontent among certain sections of the Mayday community. Allegations of neglect, cultural erosion, and political marginalization fueled sentiments of frustration and disillusionment. 2. Emergence of militant groups Various Mayday militant groups surfaced in response to these perceived injustices. They sought to address what they viewed as the erosion of Mayday identity and the imposition of policies that did not align with the aspirations of the local population. These groups, operating underground, found common cause in their struggle for autonomy and recognition. 3. Grievances and Motivations The grievances of Mayday militants were multifaceted. Economic disparities, political marginalization, and perceived cultural insensitivity fueled their discontent. Many militants believed that their struggle was not merely for political autonomy but also for the preservation of the unique cultural heritage of the Mayday community. 4. 
Ambush tactics, ambushes became a prominent strategy employed by Mayday militants to assert their cause. These attacks targeted security forces, government officials, and perceived collaborators. The ambushes were often meticulously planned, exploiting the region's geographical complexities and utilizing guerrilla warfare tactics. The aim was not just to inflict physical damage but also to send a strong message to the authorities. 5. Response from the government. The Indian government responded to the insurgency with a combination of military operations and political dialogue. Counterinsurgency operations were launched to quell militant activities, leading to a complex and often fraught relationship between the state and the militants. Simultaneously, attempts were made to address the underlying issues through negotiation and policy changes. 6. Impact on civilian population. The conflict between Mete militants and the government had significant repercussions for the civilian population. Ambushes and counterinsurgency operations often led to collateral damage, displacements, and disruptions in daily life. The people of Manipur found themselves caught in the crossfire, facing the challenges of living in an environment marked by uncertainty and violence. 7. Changing dynamics, over the years, the dynamics of Mayday militancy underwent shifts. Internal divisions, ideological differences, and changing geopolitical landscapes influenced the trajectory of these groups. Some militants chose to enter the mainstream through peace accords, while others continued to resist, adapting their strategies to the evolving circumstances. 8. Socioeconomic implications, the prolonged conflict had profound socioeconomic implications for Manipur. The disruption caused by militant activities hindered development efforts, affecting education, healthcare, and infrastructure. The region grappled with the dual challenges of addressing the root causes of the insurgency while rebuilding communities that had been scarred by violence. 9. Path to Resolution The path to resolution involved a delicate balance between security measures and addressing the root causes of the conflict. Inclusive dialogues, socio-economic development initiatives, and efforts to promote cultural understanding played crucial roles in bringing about a semblance of peace to the troubled region. 10. Legacy and Lessons, the history of Mayday militants and their ambushes left an indelible mark on Manipur. The legacy is one of resilience, pain, and a continuous quest for identity and justice. The lessons learned from this turbulent period underscore the importance of inclusive governance, cultural sensitivity, and proactive measures to address the grievances of marginalized communities. In the evolving narrative of Manipur, the chapter of Mayday militants and their ambushes serves as a reminder of the complex interplay between history, identity, and the quest for self-determination. In regions marked by diversity and historical intricacies, 